So before we get started, Fred, can I just get you to um, get that basket for me over there? Oh, okay. Um, Eddie, could you please do that? <laughs> oh. <sighs> Thanks, Freddie. Put up your hand if you can tell me which one of my kids just then, Freddie or Eddie, did what I wanted them. Andy. Yeah, Fred did it, which is kind of weird because it sure seemed like Eddie was going to do it. She was enthusiastic. But then instead of doing what I wanted her to do, she sat back down and just did what she wanted to do. So in the part of the Bible that we're looking at today, Jesus tells a story very similar to the situation that just happened here. And this can happen a lot. From the outside looking in, it can look like somebody's doing all the right things, just like Eddie. They're wearing the right things, they're saying the right things, but if they're depending on themselves, they're just going to do what they want to do. Put up your hand if you can tell me who they should be depending on. Righty? Yeah, God or Jesus, that's right. So the truth is the people that make up God's kingdom are actually much more like Fred. All of us have turned away from Jesus and said, no, I don't want to do what you want to do. I want to do what I want to do. But when we realize how much we need him and we turn back to him and depend on him, then we get to be in God's kingdom. And then we want to do his will. So this news is a great comfort because it means it doesn't matter if we're wearing special clothes or if it looks like we're doing all the right things. And it also doesn't matter if we've done bad things in the past. If we turn to him and depend on him, we get to be in his kingdom. Now, if you listen very carefully to Mr. McClendon's sermon later on, you'll find out what happens when people not only don't depend on who they should be depending on, but they take all the good stuff for themselves and they try and get rid of the one they should depend on as well. All right, I've got a picture of three different people. Put up your hand if you want to hold one of these pictures up. Yeah, Alice, up you come. You can hold... A picture of this guy, all right, this police officer who's looking uh, very determined and official. Uh, Georgie, can you hold a picture of this woman up? She looks very professional. She knows what she's doing. And Pe uh, Adelaide, could you please hold this picture up of this baby crying? All right. Put up your hand if you can tell me which one of these people looks like they need the most help, they're the most dependent on somebody else. Righty? The baby, that's right. <clears throat> this baby, my kids think, looks just like my baby, crying all the time. So she needs me to do everything for her, feed her, change her nappy, all those things. So this is what Jesus meant when he said, if you want to be in my kingdom, you need to be like a child. You need to de be dependent on him the same way a child is. Thanks, girls. I'll get you guys to sit back down. So that leads us back to our memory verse. That's why that makes so much sense now that we need to be like a child. Now, I'm going to get Nevi to come and hold this memory verse up. Mr. Bailey and his kids have made such a cool version of this that you should really go YouTube. I'm not going to sing it today because then you'll all go home with headaches and sore ears and it'll be a whole thing. So today we're just going to say it with our words and the actions. So we'll start together. Then Jesus said, leave the children alone and don't try to keep them from coming to me because the kingdom of heaven is made up of people like this. And then the tricky bit, can you, oh, you did it. Matthew 19, 14, that's the tricky bit. It's a really good song. You definitely should go YouTube it. All right, you can sit down now, sweetie. Uh, we'll pray and then you can get your kids' sheets. I'll get you all to bow your heads. And repeat after me, Heavenly Father, thank you that we can read Jesus' actual words. Please help us to depend on Jesus for all of our needs. Amen.